Hey, thanks for joining us today. We have another case study that we're bringing to you and it's gonna be another one of my favorites. It's gonna be on neurotransmitters. This is um, a case of a young man, 31 years old, and uh, he had fatigue and um, he had anxiety and depression, decreased memory recall, mind racing, brain fog, and he has a really interesting story because a lot of this started after he was, um, after he was severely electrocuted in Mexico and he was burned over most of his body. He had skin grafting over most of his body. And then on the back end, as he was healing physically, he was having a lot of cognitive decline, the brain fog, the anxiety, the depression, all of this stuff set in that he didn't previously have a history for. So I want you to pan in and let's take a look at this. So this is his symptom sheet. I have all of the patients fill this out. If you've seen my other videos, uh, you have also seen this as well. This is a subjective form, uh, subjective data. This is how the patient is feeling. We have the patient rated on a scale of zero to 10, with 10 being the worst. As you can see here, he had the fatigue. He had some increased food sensitivities that were bothering him and causing him some gut issues and changes in his stools. Anxiety, brain fog, depression, Mem uh, decreased memory recall, mind racing, and there and there's the alternating stools. And you can see that he ranged uh, on a lot of these, you know, sevens, eights, uh, and nines, with a couple that were on the lower range. We started with him in January, so January 8th. Fast forward to April, we can see that his symptoms are decreased by 50% or more. Um, take the alternating stools from eight to two, the mind racing, is, is doing better, it wasn't super bad to begin with. The decreased memory recall went from a nine to a four, so his memory's gotten a lot better. The depression is getting much better. The brain fog is about uh, almost 50% decreased. Um, and uh, the food sensitivities are getting better. The fatigue is much better. And now I wanna talk to you a little bit about the lab work that we do. In holistic medicine, you know, we understand that the body can heal itself if we give it what it needs. So if we give the body what we know that it needs, we can get the engines running again. And when we do that, the body is able to fix itself and the symptoms go away. So we ran blood with him. We did some genetic work with him so that we could see the genes that were driving his brain chemistry and some other uh, different engines as well in his body. And we did his neurotransmitters. And the one I wanna show you today are the neurotransmitters. This is his brain chemistry test so that we can take a look and see what's going on because it's not always a serotonin deficiency that's causing the issue. So let me take a look here and see the first test. Let's zoom in on this. And I'm going to just kind of show you here. This is, this is the whole thing. So we're looking at all the different brain chemicals, but I wanna zoom in on a couple of these. So we've got the norepinephrine levels, uh, which are showing low, low range. His dopamine is high range here. Um, and his glycine is low and his PEA are low. These are all causing the symptoms that he has that are contributing to the way he feels. So like the glycine, for example, this is contributing to his issues with sleep, his decreased memory recall, the norepinephrine levels being off are contributing to his depression, his fatigue, his decreased concentration, decreased drive, and the low PEA are contributing to, you know, some depression, decreased focus, and you know, like ADD, ADHD type symptoms. This test was done in January. And take a look at the following here. This is the, the after. Again, I say this every time that I do a video, we don't necessarily give supplementation and change foods to change every single neurotransmitter at once. We try to focus on some primaries and move those and whichever, whichever ones didn't follow to go back into balance, then we go in and we work on those in the second phase. But I wanna focus in on the PEA levels. We were able to bring them from super low to almost perfectly within mid-range. We were also able to bring his glycine level that was down really low and we were able to bring it up as well. The uh, norepi levels, we were able to uh, bring those up as well. And so this is an example of what we're able to do 
with holistic work, if we look at the data, we can see what engines are not working right, and we can supplement the patient, and we see results like this every single day. So if you know somebody, or if it's even you, suffering with anxiety, depression, brain fog, decreased memory recall, any type of neurotransmitter type imbalance, and you're looking for a natural way to get better, or you know somebody who is suffering, share this video with them. This is life-changing. I have stacks and stacks of case studies that we're gonna be going through, and not just with brain chemistry, but with everything from type two diabetics that we're seeing the type two diabetes completely reverse. We're seeing cholesterol levels drop by 30, 40, 50% inside of 30 days. We're seeing amazing things happen with food and with natural supplements and, and using the, the science-backed data to show us how to do this, we're getting amazing results. Thanks for joining me today and stay tuned for our next one. Have a great week.